we have culprits just walking either past the victim and turn around and snatching, or walking behind the victim and snatching the jewelry. <coughs> also to note that these persons are using bicycles. Hmm. Sometimes you have one or two. But they are using bicycles also in order to perpetrate the act. And if we can give you some statistics regarding the seriousness of the of this type of crime. In 2010, we had 247 cases thus far. It's up to Saturday, actually. In 2011, we have recorded 384 cases, an increase of 137 up to 5%. So we are really grappling, we are really struggling in regards to this type of criminality. Apparently, we are seeing many persons being involved in this act. So we are asking the public to be on their guard. We are asking to support, sorry, to report any suspicious behavior to the police. And we strongly advise persons against buying jewelry and other viables from off the street. Persons that would engage in this type of fight can run risk of being arrested and charged for receiving stolen property and losing their own. This also goes in relation to persons selling and buying copper. Again, we are we continue to respond to uh, reports of persons burning, uh, burning copper, and we continue to encourage the public to assist us in solving these cases. We see another modus where persons are, sorry, motorists. <coughs> traversing through the either the country or in Bridgetown and they're having their valuables and handbags stolen from front car seats. You realize that when motorists are in a slow moving traffic or in the section, they have their front windows down persons that are reaching in and snapping the valuable. Usually, obviously this is not, not obviously, usually this happens to women. I want to show these cases, especially in the Fort Road area. Of the last significant incident, Shane Ramon Akem Vaughan. 19 years of Roxy Gap, Waterhall Land, Eagle Hall, and Michael was held on Sunday, the 9th of October, 2011, <coughs> in possession of one white man. He was held again by daily officers on patrol in Garnet Street, the city. He has sent received <coughs> charge. He has sent received charge of uh, one count of legal possession of firearms. Of handling is greater in terms of um, point of sentence than the actual charge of theft. Right, the sentence is quite greater in actual charge of theft. Are you doing more to, even, even though you are doing work to catch the people who are committing the crime, the actual uh, first offense, are you doing more to target people who may be handling? Um, yes, that's what folks saying. We, we obviously, um, the type of investigation that we will do in terms of the handling is quite different from the term that we will do in terms of the person who, who will be actually defending. But we realize that we have to do more in terms of crime prevention. Um, asking persons, obviously, about the wearing of their jewelry 
I'm both on ship with the iron and turn the even head to upon the left leg. Obviously, that third person walked the rear. We have to be cautious as to walk rear the rear the arm and, and how they traverse um, how they traverse the country in terms of wearing their jewelry. Um, the modus operandi that we have reported sometime before, where persons have been reaching in through public church vehicles and snatching jewelry, still pertains also. We have not had much of much of that type of uh, snatching, but we do still have one or two going on. Has there been any has there been any increase in um, the number of home invasions and home and burglaries? Mm-hmm. Bur- burglaries are on a decrease <coughs> at this point in time. That requires a significant decrease in burglaries. However, in terms of what we call home invasion or aggravated burglaries, no, that is also on decrease. The the police's Facebook page that you, you all set up has that. Um, led to any ar- uh, arrests or anything like that? The Facebook page has been created but not to report criminal activity. We have asked them not to report certain criminal activity over the Facebook. We will use the Facebook page to answer certain person, certain concerns, um, to dialogue one on one with persons in the community, but we encourage them not to report, not to make reports. Along with Facebook page. Rather than would call the nearest police station to one one or Crime Stoppers. Mm. Crime Stoppers not only has a website, but I know that there's also another group on Facebook that have a similar name. Um, have either the website or the Facebook group under that similar name. Have they been making any inroads? And if if so, to what degree? I, I understand that uh, we have had the <coughs> current results from the the, 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 the report from <coughs> from um, from Christ Stopper. Mm-hmm. It, it, it has proven a useful tool and we continue to work closely with them in order to solve uh, crimes through their tips um, program. They will generally give us the information, we work on it, we will have the results. Back to them. I'm not sure as to the other group as to what what they have done. I don't know if you are meaning the one that this was I would say worry about that corruption or something. No, no, th- th- this is this was dealing with stuff even to the lesser degree of like pretty larceny, believe it or not. No. Right. In terms of I'm glad, I'm glad that you spoke about pre larceny because we I mean, we recognize that there are still incidents of crop theft. Uh, we are seeing the farmers to continue to report their theft to us. We will do all in our power to investigate and bring the culprit to justice, as we do, do you have any statistics on, on crop theft? No, we don't have that. Okay. 